Hello and welcome to today's uh, campervan chat. I'm going to tell you about this revolutionary system that Thetford has just announced for wastewater and sewage. Now this might seem a particularly exciting uh, topic but it's something we have to deal with on a daily basis. Now, if you live in a house uh, you'll have a toilet and um, a, a bathroom of some description and what happens is the water goes into a sewer then it goes off to a sewage plant somewhere and it gets treated and then uh, the water will somehow probably come back into the system somewhere. Now in a, a camper van or a motorhome RV uh, then uh, you've got a, you can't really use that system um, so what you've got is this uh, either a, um, a cassette which is a form of a septic tank or in fact a black water holding tank as uh, is the case usually in the United States or North America and when this tank gets full you should dump it off somewhere in a uh, place uh, which is uh, made for, especially for chemical toilets because you have to put chemicals in it to sort of break it up and to make the contents fluid uh, and your water will go into a grey water tank and then you dump that off uh, whenever you find a suitable uh, drain for uh, motorhomes. I'm sure that many people actually leave their uh, things uh, open. Uh, I don't really think you should do that but then again I mean if it's grey water, it's water, I don't really think it makes all that much difference provided uh, what you've got is going on to uh, grass or earth or something as long as it's not going in the concrete and people can see what's happening of course you should never dump your black uh, um, uh, uh, water off into the environment in my opinion now uh, what Thetford's got it's a system which works uh, a little bit differently recycling I'll tell you what I'm gonna show you uh, now let's get the um, uh, video up and get some pictures up and then uh, you can see how it's working and uh, then we can maybe sort of uh, I'll give you a little bit more information onto this so let's have the graphic up now So this is Indus 
and uh, the company claims it's not just a new product but a complete smart sanitation system offering other users more convenience more hygiene and more freedom it says that with Indus, RV users can be off-grid for an average of seven days. The system supports one-stop discharging in a very hygienic and flexible way. Additives are dosed automatically in exactly the amount needed. A great amount of fresh water is saved by an efficient toilet flush and by reusing grey water to flush the toilet. All actions are supported by an app giving RV users a complete real-time overview. Now, according to Thetford's research, users discharge their tanks on average five times a week. Every two to three days, the waste-holding tank is discharged, and every two to four days, the grey water tank. Thetford's research shows that people empty their tanks, both grey and black water, in many cases because they think they're full, but in fact, they don't really know. Another reason to discharge is the fact that there is a discharge location nearby. An additional problem is that the smell of both black and grey water can be quite unpleasant, especially when additives are not used. Now, Thetford claims that Indus brings discharging from five times a week down to an average of one time a week, allowing off-grid use of at least uh, seven days. Furthermore, the app informs when the tanks are getting full and powered by camper contact, it will show over 25,000 possible discharge locations. And when one needs to discharge, uh, then you can just uh, go one stop discharging of both grey and black water in one go. Now, this can be done at most grey water discharge spots as long as they're connected to the general sewage infrastructure. The Indus discharge device has a two metre hose which is placed onto the grid. You open the valve, push the button to activate the discharge process and the rest is done by the system. The Indus discharge device is compatible with the layout of most wastewater discharge spots. RV users dose their additives manually on an average every two to three days. Uh, it, it's not a heavy or dirty job, but in practice you can easily overdose and underdose. Indus provides a full automatic additive dosing module. It will dose exactly what is needed based on the use of the system and based on the temperature. After about four weeks, the empty cartridges need to be replaced. Now the cartridges cost around 10 euros a go approximately. Uh, the Indus app provides real-time information about the volume le level of the cartridges and when they're empty and need to be replaced. The Indus system comes with three specially developed additives for grey water, flush water and black water. Together, these additives will guarantee a hygienic use, will prevent bad smells and ensure trouble-free use of the system, or so the company says. The Indus additives are biodegradable, just like all Thetford waste holding tank additives. Next to that, the active substances will be broken down according to the amount of waste that has been produced. The Indus toilet, uh, uh, you can see it here, uh, it's modern looking, it's intuitive, it has a soft close and uh, it's in the cover and its um, bowl design is uh, somewhat uh, modern too, I think anyway. So it might feel like home. And it certainly will feel like home if you live in a camper van. Uh, at uh, 7.5 kilos, it's lightweight and uh, it uses very little water. The system is reusing grey water to flush the toilet. This reduces the waste, uh, the, sorry, the weight of the waste tanks and will leave you with more fresh water to use. By use, using a low noise macerator pump with a two step macerating process, the amount of flush water used is brought to a lower level, which is comparable to that of a Thetford cassette toilet. This indicates a low water use of 200 milliliters for a small flush or 500 milliliters for a big flush. Just to compare, at home we use 3 to 10 liters per flush and by reusing grey water for toilet flushing, so we're saving, uh, so Thetford say, 112 litres of fresh water per four weeks and therefore also the same amount of wastewater. 
Because the hose package is compact and easy to install, the toilet can be placed freely. The toilet can be fixed to a wall where you have a toilet with a console. Otherwise, you can place the toilet wherever you like. This leads to new layout possibilities for OEMs. As the toilet can be placed freely, all the surfaces can be reached so it's relatively uh, easy to clean. Now, as far as the app is concerned, uh, the app uh, it supports a transition from guessing when and where to empty your tanks to knowing when and where. It's providing all the relevant information in one simple dashboard on your mobile device. The level of your additive cartridges, the level of your tanks, for example, and an automatic alert on the nearest discharge location means that uh, they think it's going to be much easier and it comes available in real time with Bluetooth um, connections. Now, uh, there are, however, one or two problems with the uh, Thetford theory, uh, which I'm now going to go into. Now, the first thing is this. As far as I'm concerned, if I've got the opportunity to dump uh, my water, I will take it. I won't say there's only, um, uh, you know, the tank's only one-fifth full, so therefore I'm not going to bother. If the dumping station is there, I will use it. Or maybe I won't go out of my way, but if it's there, I will use it. I certainly won't drive off with anything other than empty tanks, ever. And I think that most people think the same thing. And uh, this may be um, a problem with the system. Now, you could, uh, obviously, I mean, the, the, you can still dump it uh, uh, anyway, but um, I think that, that will make a difference for most people. Now, there are people who complain that uh, uh, toilet emptying cassettes out, um, but I think... I think they're in a small minority. I bet you're going to write, I hate uh, discharging the cassette. Now, I spoke to somebody from Cinderella. Cinderella is a Norwegian company that makes um, uh, to they, uh, incinerator toilets, including the urine. It incin incinerates the urine. Anything comes out, your body gets incinerated. I had this explained to me. It uses a lot of gas and it costs around 5,000 euros to, to install the toilet. But as the person on the uh, Cinderella stand said to me, it does mean to say that you don't have to walk down in the morning on the campsite to dump your waste. Well, if walking down to dump your waste in the morning is a problem for you, then this may be something for you. Another uh, person makes a lot of comments on my uh, ch uh, channel. Uh, I think he's from Holland. Uh, I think his name is Truce. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. He clearly doesn't like uh, doing this either. Uh, because he, he, he wants to see the American type system where you've got the uh, big uh, septic tank and a hose. And of course, many vans do have this type of thing in Europe, at least the uh, upscale ones do. Uh, um, so I mean, where it's often a, an option. And obviously, if you have a, a septic tank, uh, a black tank, that can increase your range uh, potentially because otherwise you're going to have spare cassettes in now uh, for me as i'm by myself uh, i tend to uh, separate my waste anyway and um urine go, uh, can, obviously you can just dump urine off just about anywhere as long as you don't do it too publicly and um uh, the the solid matter really uh, okay then it goes into the cassette and whenever you get the opportunity you uh, dump the cassette off. Uh, I know that many uh, RVers do actually have a separate cassette. Now, the next thing, and this is a really important thing, lots of people asking about this, can, I mean, can it be used in aftermarket? The answer is no, you can't. I mean, uh, it, realistically, I, I mean, you could. If you tore your, if you tore your van to pieces, uh, as I did some videos uh, of me tearing my van to pieces some years ago, then that is uh, that's possible. But uh, let's let's be realistic. If you you're not going to tear your van to pieces, so it's going to have to come with new vans. The first one's going to be the Burstner Elegance, which details of which will be uh, revealed in uh, very soon, probably by the time this is published. Um, uh, it will already have been uh, revealed. I wasn't invited to the uh, opening, but there wouldn't have made any difference anyway because I couldn't have gone there. But so clearly it's a no uh, riffraff uh, opening that Burston is having. That's why I didn't get invited. Anyway, uh, so I think that a number of uh, companies will opt to do this. And let's face it, uh, maybe if you can afford €150,000 for a motorhome, then uh, paying 10 euros a go to actually dump your waste is not going to be a problem, really, honestly, is it? So, um, 
uh, I think that this really is um, a major ad advance. Uh, I, I would disagree with some of the findings on, on water use, but obviously I think the Thetford do, will have done this on a... Uh, I know the way they do their polling uh, was uh, was demonstrated to me, and I think it's relative. I think it's a, a fair way of of, of doing it. So, um, in my case, and perhaps other people like myself, the hardcore uh, do have lower water use because uh, we're sort of more used to being off grid more often, and maybe we already are recycling water. I mean, I, I uh, example, um, in, uh, I've disconnected the toilet. Well. Usually it disconnects itself when I put the cassette thing in, but I mean, um, uh, I I use in the war in in the toilet uh, flush. Uh, I use used water in any case. So I, uh, you know, I've been washing myself, washing my hands or something, and then uh, sling the water uh, into the toilet. Um, not all the time. I might point out just when it's needed to get it uh, um, a bit more wet and just put some more um, chemical in there to sort of uh, to liquidise it. So, um, right, I, I hope that you, you, you do find this uh, of interest. I'll try and report more on it as and when I find more about it. There was an hour-long um, presentation of it, which was held uh, this week, uh, so probably be last week by the time I get this published, and uh, so which uh, was, was quite the first time I've actually attended an online meeting for an hour, and I stayed interested because normally I'm... I'm bored after about the first five minutes, but in this case, I actually I, I, I was there for for the full length of the presentation. So, uh, what do you think? I mean, I, I know that you don't know enough about it to make um, comments, but from some of the assumptions and some of the things that I have said, you may be able to have maybe have some ideas. So, therefore, why not write them down below, and we can maybe, and maybe, maybe I know that people from Thetford do uh, look at this uh, site uh, from time to time. So maybe they would actually even uh, respond to it. Uh, so, it is, however, the big thing for them is to try and get the big companies. Obviously, they've got the Heimer Group through Burst are now interested, but they'll want to get the other, uh, the, the others in it, the, the uh, Rapido and Trigano and Knaus and uh, all the others uh, as well. Um, is it suitable for do-it-yourself conversions? Um, put it this way, I'm doing a van. Uh, I probably wouldn't uh, put it in, even if, even if I had the thing, even if I found one, got one for, for nothing. I don't think I'd put it in yet i'd like to see how how this uh, advances in my opinion though it is highly suited for the type of uh, chassis uh, that's used by Hi the heimer group or cartago for example um it, it would work very well in their products okay thanks very much for watching i hope you found that of interest